the most important warm up stretch in your Tai Chi practice is this one for opening up your quad. You saw me in that earlier video do this movement where I came all the way down. The Tai Chi move is called Snake Creeps Down, and it's like this you come down, it's like a snake creeping down. In order to be able to come down and be able to move, I talked about be able to open up the qua. So the question is, okay, so how do you work on stretching this out and opening it up? This is what we do in our warm-ups before every single class. You have to start high. What I see a lot of people do is they're thinking that it's about going low. So they go low and they lean forward to try to get themselves low. That does nothing for your quad. <laughs> Anyone who is trying to improve their flexibility by doing this to go down is like, doing nothing. It is much, much more effective to actually stay high and just go to the limit of where you can actually stretch this out. The feeling should be kind of like if you're stretching something just a little bit too small around a ball. Like you really want to feel like that stretching around. So I recommend starting small. One foot is going to be angled to the corner and you're going to bend that knee. That knee is going to align directly above the toes. So super important to not let that collapse in. You really need to have that knee alignment. Your weight is over the bent leg. The other leg, the toe is actually going to point straight and here, you want to keep the weight over your feet. Most people sink their weight into their heels. Here, you just want to make sure that you feel that the weight is over the feet. You engage your core. Your core should feel very active. You feel that lift up in here. And then now, this is the part that's super important, is you turn to face the direction of the straight leg. So even though you're over the weight of the bent leg, you're facing the direction of the straight leg. So it should feel like in here, double doors both open up. So it's not this. Right here, we're closing this. We're not stretching this. We're stretching this. And we're also stretching this. So you feel this opening up. Your weight is right on top of your feet. Your core is engaged. Your feet are active. There's actually no part of your body you shouldn't feel engaged. You want to bring your arms into it. Then one hand comes up in the same line as that leg. The other one comes here so you can get your whole body really active in it. Now from here, you go down as much as you can, maintaining all of that alignment. Right? You still have to have your feet engaged. You feel right on top of your feet, core is engaged until you get to a point where you feel like that's kind of your limit. You might have to kind of bend a little bit in order to go more Then that's too far. You go to wherever that limit is to strengthen and stretch. That's how you can open this up. And then another just excellent one is just to, you know, come down into this stretch and make sure that you keep your knees aligned. You can, you know, use your elbows to push out, not into the heels, over your feet. Like you can come down, but then you won't be able to come up. So if you want to be able to go down and also come up, the weight has to be right on top of your feet so you can come up, right? So let me know if that helps.